Hello and welcome. I am Bob Belk with the IBM Web Server Commerce Technical Sales Team. Today I'm going to show you a demo about precision marketing with eMarketing Spots. So I'd like to introduce Sally. She's a marketing man manager. Sally is the marketing manager responsible for web presence and content. Sally's team publishes all content to the site, including things like advertising, cross-sells, upsells, pricing information, and essentially the entire catalog. Sally's team also runs campaigns to promote new items or seasonal items. So a new requirement came into Sally's team. The general manager wants to promote registration on the website by offering a 10% discount on all items in the catalog. Sally's team thinks it over and decides a nicely placed e-spot on the home page should do the trick. This ad should only show for non-registered customers. The first thing we have to do is create the image for our ad. And you can see here I used GIMP, which is a free open source graphical graphic editing tool to do this and we're going to place this ad right on our home page. Now that we've created the image for the ad, we need to go ahead into the Assets tab and upload that image. And you can see I went ahead and uploaded it here. We also need to make a content area for the image and give it some additional properties for things like clicking. So I went ahead and created this I associated it with the bitmap and then I'm also going to go ahead and use a custom URL as a click action. This was generated to, to launch the login form for the particular store and catalog. Now the content is ready to go ahead and be placed in a marketing web dialog activity. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the original home page main advertising ad with the rotating flash advertisement and we're going to go ahead and copy it and then paste it and we're going to make a new version that has some logic in there for registered and unregistered user, uh, customers. So let's come in here, we'll say new home page main advertisement and now we're going to use some of the new branching capabilities. We drag and drop right here. And then we'll create two branches, reg on reg. Okay. Registered customers, unregistered customers. And currently, you know, they're both pointing to the same to the same advertisement. But what we want to do is put a customer segment in here. So we're going to go ahead and select that and drag it over there. And then we're going to say who are in any of the following customer segments. So we already have a customer segment for registered customers. So I could just type in reg star. There you go, registered customers. So let me collapse this. And then for the unregistered customers, we're going to show some different content. So let's remove this. We're also going to search for reg. And you can see now it's going to show the register customer ad. So that's the logic path that we've created. So inside of the home page row one ad for a registered customer we show the regular advertisement with the rotating flash and for unregistered customers we show the register customer ad so let's go ahead and save that and then we're going to go ahead and enable it and move on to the next step So the last step is to actually do the finances part, and that we do under the Promotions tab. So we're going to come in here, 
and we're going to create a new promotion and we're going to use one of these templates which is percentage off of an order and we're going to say 10 percent off for registered customers it'll be for a qualifying purchase um, it'll be exclusive within the same group we're not gonna we're not gonna exclude any particular uh, categories uh, we're not gonna schedule it's just gonna be available but what we are gonna do is add the customer segment registered customers and there you go registered customers now the one thing we do need to say is under the conditions that it is a minimum order of one and we will give 10% off and we could save that and then we can go and check out the site so now we're going to use the store preview feature and we'll launch it in preview mode so we can check out our changes go ahead and resize this a little bit and there's our new ad let me hide that and you can see actually you can see the marketing spot that we're now taking over homepage row one ads and then if I click on it it sends me to the registration or login page and when I log in as a registered user and go to the home page you can see that we get the new flash or the the original um, advertisement